Let's quickly kind of turn on sales tax. I'm going to right click on the tab up top, duplicate it again. I'm going to pull that tab over to the left hand side and let's go on to our uh, tax information on the left. So we got the tax information on the left. I think it's pretty much the same on the business view. They got a taxes tab on the business view too. So pretty much the same. So we're on the sales tax. So that's the first tab here. It says automatically calculate sales tax for each sale. So you can create invoices or receipts to calculate the sales tax rate based on date, location, type of product and so on. We keep your sales tax updated when laws change. So one kind of quirk on sales tax in the United States is we, it's a state tax, not a federal tax. Therefore it can change depending on location and that can cause complication when you're trying to do sales, you know, in different states or something or e-commerce and that kind of stuff. But in any case, let's use the automatic sales tax here. It says here's the address that's going to be used. So this is the address I typed in. So it's going to try to determine that as the locale for which the sales tax will be subject based on the state and local of that area. And so I'm going to say, okay, Tell us, and if you have a different location, that's okay. I'm going to set up like a generic one so you can see how it works too. We calculate sales tax based on what you sell and where you sell it. If you sell multiple locations, we calculate the correct sales tax for each one. So that's great. Do you need to collect sales tax outside of California? So if you have to, if you're subject to sales tax outside of one state, that will complicate things a bit. QuickBooks can help to set that up. I'm not going to get into the detail on that right now. I'm going to go to the more simple component and just say no, just one state at this point, in my case, California. Looks like you need to pay taxes to just one government. Uh, we call this your tax agency, your tax agency, California Department of Tax and Fee Administration. Sounds very bureaucratic, sounds very California-like. Okay, let's do the next one. So automatic sales tax is all set. So now we can create an invoice if we want. I'm not going to create an invoice yet, not from here. I'm just going to close this out. And then it says how often uh, you file taxes. You can find this info on your sales tax business registration. If you can't find it or if changed, check out the table. So generally when you set up your sales tax with the government entity, they're going to tell you how often you have to pay the tax. So file filing frequency. So in other words, depending on your location and usually off also depending on the level of sales you make, then you might have to file quarterly, uh, yearly or monthly. So if you have very little sales, for example, the government say, might say, well, we just, we're just going to make you do it yearly because we don't really care. You don't make that much money. But if you, if you make more money, it's likely that they're going to say, we want you to file quarterly because now it's starting to get significant and we want to make sure that we're getting a piece of your action. And then if you get more money, then they want it monthly because now they're like, yeah, we got to get our hooks deep into your hide this time because you're making some cash over there or whatever. So we got that. So here's the, here's the table that they generate just from the information based on the location. So you probably want to go from the documentation you get. Uh, but but there's you know the, the limits so average monthly liability blah 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 and the filing frequency so here's the source of it if you want to if you want to check out the url that's where they're pulling it from they're saying i believe let's save it and so now our sales tax has been set up so now we've got our tax kind of information up over here and then you've got your activity that's basically happening uh down below and then You've got your economic nexus. So all states have rules. This is kind of neat because it can give you kind of more of the rules and information on a state by state. It's kind of more of an informational type of thing. And then this side, if you needed to edit your sales tax, will give you the tax agency, basically kind of like a vendor that you can edit over here. And then we can add another one. Now I'm going to add another one just because I want to make a generic like 5%. So if you're following along and you're making a generic problem and you don't live in California, uh, then you can make like a generic one here and say uh, single, I'm just going to say practice tax agency. I'm just going to pick the same agency, just, but I'm just going to make it a generic 5% is the point. 
So I should have the option to put the generic five uh, in place, hopefully when I start doing my sales tax, just so we can make it a generic problem. So it's not a California Beverly Hills <laughs> problem uh, only. Okay, but if you're in California Beverly Hills, you can follow that along too. So that's no problem either. So let's go back and then we're gonna say, 